Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Teams and specifically how to run a live event. So I've already scheduled my live event and if you look up in the top right hand corner you can see a video on how to do that. So I've gone into Teams app, I've clicked on calendar, I'm going to click on my event that I've scheduled. I'm then going to click join because I'm a producer or a presenter. I'm going to enable my microphone and click join. And it brings you up this preview. So just very quickly talk through it. The Q screen is what you're looking to share. The live event is what's what you are sharing. And then up at the top here, we've got a number of options. So we can look at the Q and A and we've got new. So they're questions which are just come in, published ones that you've shared, maybe via an announcement and dismissed. We've got notes that you can make yourself and you can also monitor the chat and see how many people are participating. And then finally, if you click on the cog, you can set up custom audio devices and choose a specific microphone if you're not using the one that's built in. So we'll close that for a minute. So you're looking to share your screen, whether an app or something. So if you come down and click share, and you can see all of the application windows will appear here. So in this case, I'm looking to share something in Chrome. If I click share, it closes Teams or minimizes Teams and immediately shows me my window. So I just need to toggle back. So on a Mac, it's Command and Tab. I think it's Control Tab on a PC. And I can just go back to Teams. And what it should do is bring back up my Teams screen. So I've now got this again. I've got my preview there. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I can just click on that and it gives it to me in the preview. So that's now in the preview. I can then, when I'm ready to roll, I can send live. So that's now there. That's what they're going to see when they join the webinar. If I want to work on that, I can toggle back to my app. I can see it's got a red a line around it, so that's what I'm sharing, that's what I'm going to be broadcasting, and I can work through that, whether it's a presentation I'm sharing or whether it's something else. And I can open additional tabs and share that. And whatever I put on that tab is what's going to be shared, and I can see that in there. So I just toggle back to Chrome again. So I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm happy. What's on the screen is, is what I want to share. So I'm ready to start, so I can click Start. It announces that it's gonna be a, a slight lay and we've got up to 16 hours which are of, of recording available, but there'll be a 10 to, second, 10 to 20 second delay for those who are listening. So we can click Continue. And it will now tell me that I'm live. I can see I'm live there. I can see how many attendees are there. And I can go through and talk through what it is I want to share. I can click on the presentation, if it's presentation slides, and run through that, confident that my participants can see what it is I'm sharing. At various points, you may want to check on questions. So you can click and check on questions or check in the discussion. Maybe easier, some people like to run it and have someone who's monitoring the Q&A and the chat in addition to the person who's presenting. So when you're happy that you've presented, you've done all what you need, you're ready to end, you can click end, end live event. So the event has now ended. You can then close the, the Teams live event by hanging that up. And then if you go back to the calendar and click on it, you'll see the live event resources are now available. So you can download a transcript of the Q&A report. You can download an Excel spreadsheet telling you who was in attendance. And after a few minutes, you'll find that you can download a recording. So you can download a recording and then you could upload that to, to stream and share that with whoever you wanted. So that's how you'd access the resources that are related to the live event. 
specifically advanced options would allow you to download a stream if you wanted to locate it. That could be really useful if you're working with colleagues who are outside your tenant, so outside your organization, you could download the video and make it available, but potentially via stream or YouTube or something else. So I hope you found that video useful. That's how you do a live event in Microsoft Teams. Please subscribe, watch more content, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.